Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a very simple uh, inventory system that I've created. I'm going to go ahead and start. When I press the enter key, this little black box is going to turn red to let me know that I've highlighted this weapon or this object and it's ready to be moved. So let's go ahead and move it and I'm going to use my page up and I use my page down key as well to move up and down. I can move around. So I'm going to place this in the item slot. This would technically be like where you would actually equip the item. So now it's equipped. Let's say we want to move it. Or let's say that we want to swap between weapon 1 and weapon 2. So now they've literally been swapped. Let's say that we want to move weapon 2 back into our backpack. And go up here. Move it back down so now nothing's equipped etc etc alright so let's take a look at the code and see how I actually did this uh, just so you know right up front this is probably not the best way to do this there probably is a million ways better to do this however this is just a quick sample that's about a hundred lines of code um, and it's pretty much what I came up with I plan on going back and cleaning it later and coming up with a better solution but for now this should be a really easy to understand concept Alright, so we have our pointer index, and the pointer index literally is just this. It's pretty much what it relates back to. Um, based off that location, in fact, I'll go ahead and show you right here. It's dealing with that pointer triangles. Uh, it has three possibilities of the locations that it could be at, and that's what the index is for. It's just telling it, you know, where to go when our key press event or a key down event occurs uh, when the page up or the page down uh, buttons are pressed that's the event that will take place it'll simply move the pointer alright the next part is actually the items themselves where we define the items uh, because they're in a an array um, probably should have used the list but we just used a basic array as a string uh, for now so and we just set that items are equal you know weapon one and weapon two essentially the next part is we have our selected objects or select objects now what's happening here this is actually occurs when we press our enter key so let's go ahead and take a look at this what happens first it does a check uh, to see to make sure that our pointer index you know is correct which I think that was just a copy and paste on my part and it was probably just bad practice probably don't need to use that um, which that can be removed but we'll clean that up later uh, so the next part is though is it actually checks to see the pointer index case statement so there's only three cases that it could possibly be with the pointer index so the next thing we need to know is do we have an item selected or not if we don't have an item selected then it's going to go ahead and set that to true it's going to put our temporary object equal to whatever the text is uh, of that slot or whatever that string is object or whatever and whatnot um, so now we're literally that object's text value or string value is going to be equal to this temp value so now the temp value actually becomes the object quote unquote and then the index value also helps keep track of what pointer index we're on and then if it's been selected if it's already been if I've already selected something now it knows that it needs to fill the index too for the swap uh, if that makes any sense of course uh, which is probably makes sense right now so here we go so now that we have both variables filled we have our temp 0 and our temp 1 um, they both have whatever objects are in there that's supposed to be in there uh, populated with something now we're actually going to move those objects so now we go back to our index 1 index 1's that was normally temp 0 becomes now temp 1 or equal to that based on you know whatever the index or pointer index that we had selected and vice versa for index 2 so basically you're just swapping the objects or the strings 
uh, the string values, or the text value, I should say, between those two. So that's where you're actually moving that object. Now, you instead of using a string that you can actually use, um, you can use picture boxes, you can use uh, a class item, like oh, when you build this you would want to have like an actual class that you are actually moving, like an object, you know, defined in your class of course. So you're moving that object around instead of just string. But that's basically what's going on here. Um, in case you're wondering about this as well, this is where we're actually building the values of or the pointer location. So let's go ahead and take a look at it one more time because I really feel like I didn't explain it that well. So we can move up and down. So we're going to select this object and we're going to move it up here. We're going to select that object again. We're going to move it back down and so on and so forth. It's a really basic system. Um, what you would do at this is you would need to do something a little bit more elaborate to when the object is moved it would need to do a check uh, because something's going to change. You know, uh, if it were doing a game something would change with the character and his attributes or something would change there. If you are using this in the office um, something needs to happen with your document you know or whatever you're using or if you're using a database you know it needs to update the database whatever you're doing though something needs to occur when you move this the string or the object something needs to happen so that's basically the inventory system it's a really really basic system um, if you have a better system, please post it or recommendations to improve the system. Um, please post them as well. I plan on posting this on the MSDN to ask other people to really help optimize this and come up with a better way to do this. But for now, it works flawlessly. Um, it's not bad, but it's definitely not good. There's most definitely, I can, I'm almost positive there's going to be a better way to do this. So. Yeah, please post your thoughts about this. Uh, please subscribe if you also found this to be helpful. Alright, so thank you.